Television, the internet, magazines, it seems to be everywhere. The pressure to be thin, glamorous, and cool, it is overwhelming, especially if you're teenage girls. So as a parent, how do you keep your daughter happy with her body? It's really an ongoing battle that destroys self-esteem. Anna Garcia is here right now with more on keeping teenagers on a healthy track. Anna. Colleen, it is so hard to keep our kids happy and healthy. That's really all we want for our children. But for teenage girls in particular, there is added peer pressure to be ultra thin. What's healthy weight? What's not? Today's show nutritionist Joy Bauer talked one on one with teenage girls wrestling with being the perfect size. Do you ever feel pressure to be thin, either from your family or from your friends or from the media? I definitely feel pressured to be skinny all the time, like from my friends, family, and the media especially. It is very, very difficult to be looking in the mirror and be thinking, okay, I'm skinny, this is good, but it's not skinny enough. I think it kind of hurts when I see people that are like half my size complaining about how big they are. I don't think I ever look in a mirror and am completely happy with what I see. All my friends are skinny, and like all the models and like people on TV you see are like skinny, so I feel like like I'm always constantly being pressured to lose weight. And I sometimes feel upset about um, I would rather be a little bit thinner than the weight I am now. I weigh myself and I feel like, oh my gosh, I have to lose, you know, five, ten pounds. I, I weigh myself and I'm like, oh my god, this isn't good. I hate weighing myself, so I try not to, just because like whatever number I see like always brings me down. Like it's not the ideal number. It's a touch, touchy and emotional issue when you are a teenage girl, and you know it doesn't really get that much easier when you're a woman. To help us sort through all this is Christine Avanti. She's a nutritionist and an author. Christine, thanks for being here. I love your book, Skinny Chicks Don't eat salads. I love this. Stop mm -hmm. starving, start eating, and losing. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Now, I look at you, and you're an absolutely gorgeous woman. You used to be a model. Thank you. Yes, I was in my 20s, yeah. But you battled your weight as well. I did. You know, I think uh, when I started out modeling, I was about 18 years old, and I modeled all through my 20s up until 28 years old. And that already caused body image issues with me. I was always trying to get thinner and thinner and thinner, never felt good in my own skin. And that's sad when you're on magazine covers and you're not feeling good in your own skin. We're looking so. at a picture of you. And now, this is not That's not a modeling photo. That's not a modeling, <laughs> photo. Not a modeling <laughs> photo. What, you were 30 pounds heavier here. Um, for me, yeah, in my late 20s, there was a death in my family. So to numb the pain, I ate food. So I used food as an antidepressant, and I gained 30 pounds in six weeks. And then I couldn't lose that 30 pounds for about four years, which led me to becoming a nutritionist and really diving into food and the science of, of nutrition and weight loss. And so that's why we have you here, because yeah. moms, if you're at home or teens, if you're listening, you've been there personally and you're also educated. So help yeah. us sort through this. You know, what is the correct weight for a young lady? You know, I would say the average weight for, you know, a, a young woman about five foot seven would be about 140 pounds. Um, I, but again, really, when you're working with teens and you're working with them and, and helping them feel good about themselves, I mean, it's such a tough time in life. They're so, so susceptible to, to what they see in the media, what their friends are doing, and this desire to be really skinny is, is very strong in their lives. And I think what we need to do is enforce the fact that, you know, don't be a square peg trying to fit into a round hole. You know, if you're... If you're big boned and you know you're 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 always used to being you know about a size 10, don't try to make yourself a size two in one month. It's just not realistic. It's not healthy. I think we need to be our own personal best. And the thing I teach my clients is that if at the end of the day you know you've been eating healthful and you're eating like every three to four hours, you're not mm -hmm. starving yourself and you're also not binging, but you're being healthy and you're living in balance. Then you should feel good about that day. Some specifics. How's that? Tell, okay. me, tell me what a teenager should be eating. You know, great examples definitely need to eat breakfast. And I know teenagers don't like to cook too much. So something like, you know, Greek yogurt with a little bit of berries and some nuts that's quick and easy, takes them two minutes to make. Super simple. When they're at school, simple turkey sandwich, you know, with a little bit of fruit on the side. Not this big, huge thing of French fries with ketchup, which I, I know a lot of teens and not tend all to salads. do. That. Because you know what? I have an 11 year old boy. He doesn't want to sit there and eat carrots all the time. No. 
So like it's like a simple sandwich. I mean, he'll eat a sandwich, right? Of yes. course, yeah. So that with a little bit of fruit after school. A great example. I actually had this in my purse, and one of the producers and I were talking about it in the green room. Is just like a simple thing of potato chips. Uh, these are pop chips, so they're not baked, they're not fried, they're actually popped, so they're a healthy so chip. Healthier. And then a little bit of cheese. I've got these little baby cheeses here. So simple. I mean, cheese is this good. Cheese is not bad. How many times no. are we hearing cheese is bad? No. Anything with fat in it, you know? No. What's bad is stuff loaded with preservatives. So if you're giving your kids a lot of packaged foods, you got to be careful. Obviously, the chips and the cheese are packaged because I want to give you guys something simple. But this is natural. They're all natural ingredients in here. There's no preservatives. There's no additives. This is natural, real food. And that's the key is feeding them real food. All you know? right. Well, thank you, Christine. I appreciate your time. It is such a struggle for all of us with it children. Is. And it's just, it's just tough even being, you know, no matter what age you are, you're struggling. You're struggling with your weight. I think the key is learning to love yourself where you're at on the way to where you're going. That's the goal. I like that. Thanks, Christine. Back to you, Chuck and Colleen. Good advice. Yeah. And by the way, can you get the name of those chips before Christine leaves? <laughs> oh, thank you. All right. Instead of a comeback, some say this is more of a 